So let's look at a couple of other variations for this. We were getting random numbers between 1 and 6, but what if we wanted a different range of numbers, say between 500 and 599? Well, the way I'm going to handle this is first I'm going to create a name constant called count. And I'm going to set count to the number of desired values. Now the numbers between 500 and 599 are a set of 100 numbers, so I'm going to set count to 100. Then I'm going to create a second name constant named first. And first is going to be set to my first desired value. In this case, 500 is the first number I want to use in my random number range. And the way I'm going to use these two name constants is I'm going to create a statement like this. It's similar to what we've been doing before. And what we're going to do is call the rand function. Then I'm going to say mod or modulus and then count. That looks similar to what we did before when we rolled the dice each die had a six sides, and so my count would have been six in that program. But here I'm using a named constant. And then when I get my result, I'm going to add that to the number first, which is 500 in this case. And so what it looks like is rand mod count is going to give me values between zero and 99. We're going to add 500 to that value and then we will have values between 500 and 599. So that's how you can use a different range for your random numbers.